Hello and welcome to my channel, Kuromus here. Today I'm bringing you the Bleeding Punch Monk, a blend of Tiger Barbarian and Open Hand Monk. This is a tanky monk with excellent DPS thanks to enraged weapon attacks and powerful punches. If you want to play with a resilient monk that attacks with a mix of weapon attacks and punches, then this is for you. We will be starting with a single level in monk. This way we can use the weapons the monk is proficient with using our dexterity bonus as long as they are not heavy or two-handed. This will help us to strike efficiently since we will be a dexterity based build. Then we multi-class into Barbarian, choosing Wildheart as our subclass. Tiger Bloodlust is one of my favorites and we will use it to make a cool combo later on. Choosing the animal aspect Wolverine will let us main enemies reducing their speed to zero. Combining this with Flurry of Blows, topple provided by the monk, knockdown enemies will miss a turn if we land the full combo. This is not a new combo by any means, but I wanted to make it happen mixing Barbarian and Monk. The build is finished as a Barbarian 6, Monk 6. Kindly read the description of this video to understand my thought process and some considerations for these guides. Also, make sure to subscribe to support my content and without delay, let's begin. So we start our journey as a monk. We get some excellent passives. However, keep in mind that for this build, the monk bonus to armor class while unarmored will not stack with the barbarian one. So at this moment, constitution is higher, so that is what it will apply at level 2. For our ability points, we will focus mostly on dexterity, constitution and intelligence. And make sure you have acrobatics so you can resist shove attempts by the enemy. You can try also a more typical spread if you wish so. At character level 2, we will multi-class into Barbarian, getting access to Rage and Unarmored Defense. From now on, we will continue progressing as a Barbarian until we get our second attack. Keep in mind, for Reckless Attack to work, we must have a melee weapon equipped. At this point, we select our Bestial Heart, that will be Tiger, to get access to the Tiger's Bloodlust, as explained before. At character level 5 we get our first and only ability improvement, so I decided to spread between Dexterity and Wisdom to improve the chance to hit as well as damage later on thanks to Wisdom. At Barbarian level 5 we get our extra attack and fast movement, and now we are ready to return to the Monk class for a little bit. At this point we get Patient, Defense and Step of the Wind, very powerful skills for the Monk Toolkit. And on the next level up we will get our Monk subclass that is going to be Way of the Open Hand. This will improve our flurry of blows, adding the effect of knocking the enemy prone. On the next level up we return to Barbarian to get the Animal Aspect Wolverine granting our bleeding attacks the main effect, reducing their movement speed to zero. After this point we will go back into Monk, getting the rest of the levels in this class. We also get our second feat that will be Savage Attacker. This will greatly increase the damage that we do with our melee weapon. On the next level we get our stunning attacks as well. And in the final monk level, we get to add our wisdom modifier to our unarmed damage, greatly boosting the damage of our flurry of blows. We also get the class action wholeness of body that will heal us as well as help us recovery key points and granting us an extra bonus action. With the step by step out of the way, I show you which items I have used for the combat showcase. As usual, nothing extremely crazy, just trying to show the build and the skills. Actually, this build works really well without having any crazy items. As for the build in action, it is very straightforward to play. You want to enter into rage. It's going to be easy to do it first, since we're going to have high initiative thanks to our high dexterity. 
Then we will combine our tiger area of effect attacks with our punches, depending on the situation. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this build and hope you like the combat. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Adios.